Google sells Google domains to Squarespace. Really? This is a major topic to you? <sighs> it's okay, fine, fine, fine. Do you think, do you think, do you think, do you think? All right. Google is shutting down Google domains and se uh, selling its assets to Squarespace. Around 10 million domains will be transferred to Squarespace, after which Squarespace will honor renewal prices for 12 months. So they'll offer renewal. They'll honor renewal prices once. one time. Yes, uh, this is likewise. Uh, this will likewise affect Google Workspace accounts attached to Google Domain, as Squarespace will be taking over their billing and support services. Have no idea how that will go. That's going to be interesting. Uh, this is kind of pretty wacky uh, because a lot of people that I know host a lot of domains with Google Domains because Google Domains hosts a ton of top-level domains. Cloudflare is, everyone loves to talk about how amazing Cloudflare is at, yeah. at domain management because they are amazing. They sell it at like cost, very user-friendly, very easy to manage. You're probably doing your DNS junk there anyway. So like, why not have it all in one place? Like, yes, fantastic. Except they actually have pretty, what is this? Oh. Uh, they actually have pretty low support for a variety of top-level domains. Including... Why don't you talk about what support for top-level domains means? Okay, so uh, you guys are probably familiar with .com, but there's, you know, Never Twitch, heard of it. .tv. Uh, there's very potentially your, your government websites, .co.uk for, for the, the British, um, Canada's the British. .ca, .tech, um, all there, kinds of there's, things. There's tons of them. They're all over the place. Those are top-level domains. Cloudflare doesn't support a bunch of them, which doesn't is really support them. Does not support it. Does not support .ca, for example. So most of our .ca domains hmm. are hosted with Google. So we have to move them somewhere. And there's there's some other good options, but it's just like, man, the move for a long time was you have your Google Workspace stuff. Yeah. You have your Cloudflare stuff. You host anything that can be, you have your domains that can be in Cloudflare, in Cloudflare, you just have them over there. And then your various ones that can't be in Cloudflare, they just all go in Google Workspace and it's fine. Everything's fine. This is the setup that like everyone that I know has been using or they just have everything in Google because they don't care about saving two bucks a month or two bucks a year or whatever, which is like fine. <sighs> It's also very interesting. Someone in, in Flowplane chat mentioned this. I was thinking about this earlier today. They dropped the .zip and .mov stuff on us and then just peaced out. <laughs> See ya. Have fun. <laughs> Jerks. But this is, this is actually going to make like a ton of work for a bunch of people. Because like uh, Squarespace is great, right? We use Squarespace for a bunch of different things, yada, yada, yada. But if you're not wanting to have a Squarespace site, for your domain? There's no real reason to use them. No. There's there's definitely reasons to use Squarespace. We use Squarespace again. But not as your domain registrar. Yeah. And and Squarespace having a domain registrar makes a ton of sense. Because especially if you're not super familiar with what you're doing, which makes sense, you might be using Squarespace because of that reason. Being able to just get your domain in the process of setting up your Squarespace site is like perfect. Makes a ton of sense that they have this support. Yep. But I don't necessarily want all of my domains shoved in there out well, of they, nowhere. They've had that support for a long time. I yeah, just, which is great. I just uh, so basically, what they're buying is recurring revenue. Essentially, they literally bought recurring revenue, which is just the like most amazing thing ever. I mean, look at the way that like, back music catalogs are being handled these days. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. You're just paying, you know, some multiplier of the recurring revenue. And whoever is the rights holder is now just cashes out now and lives on a yacht or whatever, you know, it strikes their fancy. And then these these long game, large and really they're just investment vehicles. These companies um, are building up this this recurring revenue base that allows them you know, to eventually go IPO. It's like it's a pretty common playbook when it comes to just IP acquisition companies. Um, it's and it's pretty similar to what the plan was for the company that had offered to acquire us. So I get it. Um, there's all oh man. There's so many. There's so many interesting. There's so many so interesting a, ways to just park <clears throat> money, and and just have it just sit and passively earn money for you. This this is one of the things. 
the, the biggest thing that jumped out at me about this is not just that I'm annoyed that we were like actually standardizing and unifying our domains. Oh, I don't know, two weeks ago. Um, and now we're gonna have to do it again, which is sick, just a bunch of wasted time. But also, we've been talking for a while about how you can't trust new Google products because they just keep shutting them down. This is not a new Google product. Yeah, they've been doing Google domains for, for over 10 years. a long time. When so now they... what can you trust from Google? And like what what writing on the wall was there that they were going to do this? 10 years. Like they just launched new TLDs, the the dot .zip and dot .mov thing. Like they were actually doing stuff in the space and then they I just... mean they were doing stuff in the Stadia space and then Yeah, I mean but Stadia just... was new and also terrible yeah but just because google's doing stuff is no indication that's, that's that they fair, might not fair, immediately but kill like, it this it was it was good and they were like profiting off of like like cloudflare is doing it all at cost which is one of the reasons why everyone likes it so much google wasn't they were profiting off of it it doesn't seem like it's the hardest thing to do i know nothing about it but it doesn't seem like it's the hardest thing to do because tons of sites just spin it up as a part of their service package so like what's what's the play here I don't understand. And like, I'm sure I'm just miss. Sorry, I'm sure I'm just missing something. But like, what? What do you do when Gmail uh, is killed? Yeah, I don't think Gmail's going anywhere. That's a lot of data that they can take from that. Um, is that it? There's no data they can no collect data from they it? can take from it? So it's no longer core business, even though it's like an internet? You have like the address and phone number and contact information of all the domains because they, they have a service that um, obfuscates all of that. But that means they have it on their end. Yeah, but that's not a lot of their kind of data. Yeah, for sure. That's boring data. That's like database. <laughs> that's... <laughs> it's just, it's it's really interesting to me. And this this is... This feels like an acceleration of a death spiral. Like they've been killing all these different products. This one dying. Okay, the, the point that you just made makes a lot more sense than anything I've heard so far. Of like, uh, okay, so yeah, it was literally just printing money, but not a ton of it. Yeah, and not as part of their core business. Yes. So maybe it's just that, but it, it feels very not strategic to me. But if that's the strategy maybe i don't know you'll allow it I, well i still hate it because i have more work to do now and that's not cool because i have a lot of work to do so does he <laughs> yeah, yeah well yeah yeah that might actually be his job <laughs> we'll see <laughs> uh maybe <laughs>